Hey everyone, this is The Trader Investor. I'm going to share with you how I use 14 minutes a day to find entries and exits. Using Fibonacci retracement, I find success, and this does not require looking at charts all day long. Only 14 minutes a day. And when I show you how that is done, you'll be surprised. So I find entries and exits using Fibonacci retracements, only 14 minutes a day of work. If you have a day job, this is for you. If you are a full-time trader, this is for you. If you aspire to become a trader, this is for you. So everybody can take advantage of this just 14 minutes a day using Fibonacci retracement. Trading is about working smart and not working all day. It's not about staring charts at all day long. Initially, you might need to stare at charts to learn what charts are doing, to spend some time to understand chart patterns, candlestick patterns, and also get to know your symbols, your tickers. So once the markets that you are trading, get to know them. Initially, you might spend some time, but that time spent is not working. That's time spent to learn. As you learn your charts, as you learn your tickers, then you don't need to spend all day looking at charts. It only requires 14 minutes a day. And when we get into the charts, you'll see how easy that is. Uh, and so I start with save. I want to stress this out all the time. I start to save because save gets me out of trouble. I, if I understand the structure, if I understand area of value, then I can execute. I can pull the trigger when I see an entry. I can pull the trigger to exit even if I don't hit my target because structure area of value is giving me something to work from. It's not blindly entering a trade. It's not blindly following somebody. This is really an anchor where I start. It doesn't matter if some guru says you should enter this trade at this price. I'm going to look at the chart and if it does not align with my save, I'm not entering that trade. So the bottom line is I am the guru. You are the guru. It's really understanding how your charts work. And once you get save into your mindset, you understand structure, you understand area of value, you can easily execute entries and exit. So let's just dive right into the charts now that we've got this out of the way. So uh, let's quickly recap on save for now, structure. And I'm going to show you an example just on the SPY. So on the SPY, on the monthly, we know we're in an uptrend. We know everything is moving up, we're in an uptrend, that's our structure. Uh, weekly confirms the same structure. We're in an uptrend and daily confirms the same structure. We're in an uptrend. We're in an uptrend and there are moments where we have some pullbacks. Then pullbacks is where we take advantage of entries. We can take pullback as an advantage to enter uh, put positions. We also use pullback termination to enter long call positions. So pullbacks are healthy. That's part of the market. That's the part of the market that gives us the best risk reward. I want to risk one to make two, three, four, five, right? So the only way to do that is to understand structure and area of value. I come to my area of value, I load up the truck and I go long. If I'm not at an area of value, I'm not entering a position. So now that we have save in place, then where do the 14 hours a day come into the picture? It's actually a little bit less than 14 hours a day. The markets open at uh, 9.30 a.m. Eastern, 6.30 a.m. for me because I'm in the West Coast. So that's for me, it's 6.30 a.m. And so every hour for two minutes, one minute before the hour and one minute past the hour at 6.59, 7 to 7.01, I look at the chart and say, what did the hourly chart do during the previous hour as it was closing at seven. 
I repeat that cycle again at eight, at nine, at 10, 11, 12, and at one, I'm done at one. I don't need to go to 101 because the market just closes at 1 p.m. my time, uh, you know, Pacific time, market closed, so I'm done at one. And so all I do during market hours, I only look at the chart for two minutes every hour. Very simple process, that's where the 14 hours comes. Because we have six and a half hours, I'm giving you a little bit of a buffer there. So then, how do I use Fibonacci retracement to enter? Because I understood my structure, when I'm in a pullback, what I want to do is, hey, is this pullback going to give me additional opportunities for puts, or is it terminated and is, is it reversing? So what I will do is, I will take the high and low, draw a Fibonacci retracement. Now, if price does not break the you know 23.6% retracement and price then breaks this low here i'm entering a put if it breaks above it you know by break i mean on a closed basis if it closes above the 23.6% i'm not taking this trade but you know for a few hours it happens to be overnight for a few hours it got rejected 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 and as market opened the uh, following day as soon as it crosses the low of my uh, fibonacci retracement low i'm entering a put position and my exit target one is the one to seven or percent extension in this case, because I'm drawing high to low, it's a minus 0.278 extension. Target two, minus 0.618. So this is target one, target two. And in this particular case, within two hours, this trade is done, target one and target two hit. And for all practical purposes, you can just even quit for the day in just four minutes, you are done. You've hit both your targets. Very important to always remember is risk management, money management, I can't stress that enough. Just because this has worked and it was very nice, or wow, I can just repeat the cycle, it doesn't mean you should load up the truck and enter this trade all the time. That's not, uh, with you know, full account size, that's not what it means. Have a good, solid risk management system in place and trade based on that risk management. You want to live to see another day. So you don't want to have all your dollars be at risk and be gone, be wiped out. And this happens to many, many traders, including myself. I have made those mistakes many times. You don't want your account to be wiped out. So you want to have a solid risk management. So here it was. We're exiting at target one and, and target two. So once that is done, I wait for the next opportunity. So the next opportunity might be, then this is what I draw. I go from low to high. And here you might say, well, you know, this hit target one and target two, but I'm not taking this trade. Why? Because price penetrated not only the 23.6%, it also penetrated the 38.2%. So this breaks my rule. This is something that doesn't work for me. It breaks my rule, so I'm not entering this trade. Some other people might say, well, you know, 50% is where I want to trade it and enter. 61.8% uh, is where I want to enter. Everything is valid. If it works for you, it is valid. So I'm not negating what works for others, I'm just showing you how it works for me. So if it's 23.8% retracement, price doesn't close below it, and it breaks these highs, that's the highs that I want to break, I'm entering the trade. So for those of you who are doing a little bit deeper pullback, it's okay, it's the same. We're, our entry is the same, except my, I did not take this entry, 
because it does not meet my criteria. So we skip this trade and we go on to the next one. So we uh, remove this retracement and where is the next one? So I'll show you a couple more. Some of it just, you can eyeball it, right? I can see already this one, you know, doesn't work because, you know, it really had a deep retracement. It had a deep, deep retracement and price never even broke the lows here. So by eyeballing it, I already know I'm out of this particular trade. And then, so let me draw the next one uh, from low to high. I like to include the overnight, the pre-market, the post-market uh, values in here. You can easily turn those off, but it's a different uh, look and feel for me. Uh, that's not uh, my trading style. I want to see all the action that took place, even overnight. So in this particular case, uh, price retraced, closed below the 23.6 retracement. If you say, oh, well, I'm comfortable here because it's close enough, but guess what? It never triggered. It never triggered, so there is no entry. There is no entry there. So then next day, right? You can just do this. You can just do this and do nothing else. Only trade this and still have a very consistent method, a very profitable method where you can trade. So this day, there's, there's no trade, no setup for me. So this doesn't work. So I am not even entertaining this particular one. So then the next one, I go from high to low. So whenever we have a pivot, high to low, low to high, I'm using those pivots to enter. So this is an interesting one. So let's zoom out. Let's zoom out a little bit and let's zoom out. And I have a reason why I want to zoom out for you is, okay, price high to low retraces to the 23.6% retracement. It closed above it slightly, you know, sometimes it's an area, right? The support resistance, I always say it's an area, it's not an exact pinpoint. So I'm okay with this, but what I want to see as a trigger is I want to see this broken. I want to see we're, we're heading to make a lower uh, low. So that's the uh, reason why I want to see this broken and this never happened. So no entry for us for this one. So then, you know, the next one we see is the next retracement. We go from low to high. We go from low to high, and this is acceptable. Even though we have this big bar that has gone all the way down to the 78.6% retracement, it's an acceptable one because it closed above the 23.6 so i'm more interested in the closing and not our action right I, i'm just interested in the closing so here my entry is at the break of this and that happened after market opened the next day so in that hour it happened i uh, i set an alert that's how I get in. That's why I say it's only 14 minutes a day because I'm not sitting here looking at the charts. I'm just coming in here and saying, hey, here's the setup that I see. Here's the price that I want to break. So when I get to that price, give me an alert. And I create that alert and I'm good to go. So uh, I look at this and say, well, you know, price hit. Now, Here's one thing that I said, target one, target two. So I hit target one, I have a, a tight stop loss uh, because I don't want to lose everything, right? I 50% of my position is already off at target one. The other 50%, I don't want it to turn this whole trade into a negative trade. So I, I will start putting some alerts at the 23.6% percent retracement so if price comes back down 
when I'm not watching the market. If price comes down there during that time, I want to see. Otherwise, the next hour, I see that price went above the 27.8, but it got rejected. So at, at, this, at the beginning of this hour, we're open here. So I don't know what's going on. So I'm waiting. At the beginning of this hour, I see that we never made it to the 61.8. And I'm exiting at the open of this candle because when I come in to check my trade, I am seeing that we did not uh, continue that movement. So it's okay. It's, this is not about 100% win rate. This is about consistency. This is having a plan and trading that plan. So because I don't want to spend all day looking at the charts, right? I don't want to spend time looking at 15 minute charts, one hour uh, or 30 minutes chart, 10 minute chart, one minute chart. I, you could say you can get better uh, exits, but you know what? That's not my style. I just want to spend 14 minutes a day watching the action and take uh, necessary exits based on that. So the next one then is uh, after those exits and price is making a new low, then we want to see, are we going to break this low? Right? Are we going to break this low? So here, again, another interesting uh, concept to look at here, because I do options, because I do options, this price was broken, this price here, was broken overnight. It was broken during the overnight trading hours. So what I did is I waited for some sort of a pullback. Uh, I don't remember this particular day. But sometimes if, uh, if it opens and uh, has a short rally before hitting target one, I will enter it. If it has already hit target one and it comes to our entry, it's too late, right? For me, I'm thinking it might have taken its course and gone all the way up. So, you know, I don't know what happened this particular day. I, I don't remember, but I just wanted to show you concept wise, this is how I trade it. So if price stays above the target one and it gives me a, a rally opportunity to enter, then I entered, otherwise I'm not entering. Uh, but you know, as I look at this chart, I actually remember now that I did not take this entry because we have already hit target one overnight. So pre-market, we've already hit target one. So no entry for me here. That's really critical, is if you've already hit target one, do not chase. By all means, do not chase. If it's during somebody else's trading hours, because you only want to spend 14 minutes a day, then this is no entry. But you see, it has worked. It has worked for somebody maybe in Europe who would have had an opportunity to enter, or somebody who's doing the stocks, not options, uh, could have taken this trade at this uh, trigger point. At, you know, around you know after 4 a.m pacific time so then the next opportunity this one is a great opportunity came here so here as price stayed above the 23.6 percent retracement that's the key part right price stayed above 23.6 percent retracement price broke the high broke the high and during market hours that was our entry we have our entry signal uh, right after market opened and target one target two both hit this is where uh, those rare occasions target one and target two hit on a friday very close to target two, I'm exiting. 
I am not waiting to uh, exit uh, the next day because it's Friday. I don't know what's going to happen geopolitically over the weekend, so I'm not happy to take a swing trade over the weekend most of the time. If I'm up significantly, if I've taken off 50% of my position and you know the market had really rallied and you know instead of here you know if if it was you know target two hit here and you know we were here by the time the market closed i might risk it but even that is just too much of a risk for me so usually i try to close my positions on a friday evening but this is how i easily identify uh, trends uh, by looking at my save and once I identify those trends I take advantage of the pullbacks keep in mind when I'm doing the pullbacks and I'm doing these retracements I want to make sure that I still have room for uh, for that pullback if it has no room if if my monthly trend line is not into the picture when I'm entering a trade, I'm not entering a trade. If we're already at the area of value, I don't want to enter a short trade. I'm actually waiting for the reverse, right? So the other setup that I'm not going to mention here, I mean mention but not go through details, is when I am at an area of value, when I'm at an area of value, I am just looking for new higher lows, right? I'm looking for higher low to then enter a position here. So this one, I don't need Fibonacci retracement for this because I am at a significant area of value. This is a monthly trend line then I'm entering long. I am not taking any risk to the downside because I'm at an area of value. I will take that risk when this is broken, right? When this is broken, I'll keep taking that risk to the downside. But until this is broken, I'm only looking at the long side and I'll use the FIB retracement example that I showed you to take advantage of these pullbacks, right? When these pullbacks are occurring, I just want to take advantage of them. And when price is, you know, going back up, I want to take advantage of them, right? So that's what it's all about, is playing the down and the up. And on the downside, I'm not loading up the boat. It's a smaller position, uh, just capturing these movements because I never know how deep these pullbacks are. Uh, but for the long side, because we're respecting the long term trend line, monthly, weekly, daily, because we're respecting that, just a couple of minutes every hour, take advantage of these uh, pullback opportunities to enter our positions, right? Instead of just sitting on the sideline waiting for entry i just find these opportunities so i hope uh, you all find this uh, very helpful and you know i wish you all uh, happy trading always uh, focus on your strategy focus on your plan so you can trade your plan and your number one priority risk management risk management risk management if you get that wrong setups don't matter if you get that wrong Entries that are super good will not matter because if it's one bad entry that wipes out your account, then what's the good of that entry, right? So every signal is not guaranteed. We have no control what happens next. We only control how much we risk in that trade. So make sure you have a very good risk management. You're not taking a risk on all of your account so happy trading happy weekend take care everyone